Now to crime choppers. They are the eyes in the skies. Whether it's a police chase, a manhunt, or a missing person, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office deploys its aviation unit to help. At 875 square miles, Jacksonville is the largest city in the continental U.S. JSO just started flying two new helicopters, which pilots say will help them catch criminals faster and help those who need it the most. Only on News for Jacks, Vic Michelucci takes us high in the air on patrol day and night inside the new high-tech crime fighting tools. The call can come in anytime. So we got a uh, burglary to a residence in progress. We're going to go to that call right now. And JSO's helicopters can get there in minutes. All right, we're about two miles out right now, and we're going really fast. 130, 140 miles an hour. And I've got the camera on him now. I'm trying to follow him. The hell's right there. In the meantime, 911 dispatch is sending out patrol officers on the ground. They're going to work together and hopefully make sure whoever's inside that house is safe. They're under making contact right there. Officers search the property and do not find anyone besides the resident. She's safe. They tell us they treat every mission like it's life or death. We definitely get to help people. And that's the whole idea here. I just love doing what I'm doing. We spent two days airborne with the aviation units. Officers Lou Ferreira and Carl Loder in the cockpit. They're among JSO's 12 pilots and three mechanics based at Craig Airfield. Now the agency has two new helicopters. A lot of our calls are missing persons. We tend to locate them pretty easily with the new aircraft. You might recognize this helicopter. JSO has used it and two similar ones for about 18 years. But pilots say the technology was getting dated and they wanted to keep up with the times. And while they still use this one, they sold the other two and the department bought two brand new helicopters. The price tag, nearly $12 million for both of them. Taxpayers could say that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, uh, but when you're that person, that's out there in the water and you're by yourself and there's no one that can get to you, we're the ones that can get to you, it's worth it. The new choppers have top of the line technology, autopilot in case of an emergency or bad weather, infrared cameras that can detect heat, even footprints, whether it's dark or light. JSO asking us to keep some of the capabilities confidential so criminals don't know every tool they have in their toolbox. The camera's a lot better. We can see threats before they'll see it. And um, if there's a suspect or something coming out of a corner, we'll be able to spot that for them. It is especially helpful in the dark of night. That's like all 80 in progress. I turned off the And we're going to a, uh, a call right now of uh, like a domestic disturbance. It's, uh, This is a high priority call, one where every second counts. Do we have a last known direction of travel for the vehicle? The Airhawk is first on the scene because the helicopter was already on night patrol. Uh, in five, uh, be on the lookout for a white Chevy Decon driven by a Bravo Fox shot. This suspect is armed and dangerous. The charges are going to be uh, aggravated battery. Within minutes, the pilots and patrol officers spot the suspect and they pull her over. The eyes in the sky using a new infrared camera, plus the spotlight as police move in for the arrest. Yeah, we're gonna keep them lit up. Uh, they got the suspect out of the car right now. Looks like they're doing a felony stop. Everything's good and hopefully the uh, victim's okay. Every mission is important, but some stand out more than others. Like this fall, when investigators say an ex-Marine shot and killed Nassau County Sheriff's Deputy Joshua Moyers, then shot a police canine. That's one that sticks out with you because of the efforts. Um, that we went through to make this mission happen, to help him. JSO assisted its neighbors in Nassau County with around-the-clock air support for the manhunt, surveillance from above, even flying with snipers. Five days later, officers captured the suspect, Patrick McDowell. No matter the mission, these pilots say they'll do whatever they can, however they can. Watching over Jacksonville, 
from above. Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Now, we checked the flight log. JSO's pilots have flown more than nearly 1,800 hours since last April. And during that time, the aviation unit was involved in 192 arrests and finding 244 people missing. They also responded to everything from boat crashes to kidnappings to escaped inmates. If you're a News 4 Jacks insider, you saw this story first. We sent it to you yesterday, right to your email inbox. If you want a first look at exclusive stories before anyone else, you can sign up for free to be an insider too. Just go to newsforjacks.com slash insider.